In this video, I'm going to talk about cofunctions in trigonometry. They are also known as the cofunction identities, and what they do is they show a relationship between complementary angles and the trigonometric functions. So, let me show you that visually first, and then we'll dive into what the actual formulas are. So, for triangle ABC, we have a 90 degree angle here, and then the angle sum property of triangles sum states that the sum of all the internal angles of a triangle need to add up to 180. So if we say that this angle is theta, then this angle must be 90 minus theta. So when we add them all up, it will equal 180. Now, if we find the cosine of angle A, it's going to equal the adjacent side, which actually let's label these sides real fast. So the adjacent side is B over the hypotenuse, C. Then we can plug in the actual angle value, which is going to be cosine of 90 minus theta equals B over C. That's step one. Then we're going to find the sine of angle B. So sine of B equals opposite over hypotenuse. We'll plug in what the actual angle of B is. Sine of theta equals B over C. Then we can see that they both equal B over C. So we can rewrite this as cosine of 90 minus theta equals the sine of theta. So in this case, cosine and sine are cofunctions. If we jump over to this chart here, I've written out all of the different cofunctions. So sine theta equals cosine of 90 minus theta. Cosine of theta equals sine of 90 minus theta. Tan of theta equals cotan of 90 minus theta. And then we have the remaining three trigonometric functions and their cofunctions. Um, 90 degrees is also equal to pi over 2 radians. So I've also created this chart here to show you the same cofunctions um, just with pi over 2 replacing the 90. So you might also see this, this form of the cofunctions. Now what we're going to do is run through a few examples. To start off, we're going to say sine of 20 degrees. And we want to find its cofunction. Okay, so this is going to equal, if we reference back to the table before, cosine of 90 minus theta. This is theta, so cosine 90 minus 20 equals the cosine 70. I know I'm dragging this out, but mostly just doing it to really drive home what we're doing here. Second example, we're going to have sine of 10 degrees. So our cofunction is going to be cosine of 80. Then we have sine of 0 degrees, which is going to equal the cosine of 90 degrees. In both cases, these equal 0, so that's a cool one to know. Then we have sine of 45 degrees equals cosine of 45 degrees. If you remember the unit circle, both of these are equal to square root of 2 over 2. If we step away from sine just a little bit, we can do the same thing for other functions. So say we have tan of 20 degrees. The cofunction is going to be cotan of 70 degrees. If we have the cotangent of pi over 3, then we'll need to figure out what this actually is. Um, as I said before, 90 degrees equals 
pi over 2 radians. So this is going to equal the tangent, which is the co-function, of pi over 2 minus pi over 3. So we're going to get these in like terms. So we're going to multiply both the top and bottom of the first thing by 3. So we're going to have 3 pi over 6 minus, and we're going to multiply this side by 2 over 2, minus 2 pi over 6. And that's going to come out to be pi over 6. So our answer is actually the tangent of pi over 6. You can do the same thing for the more rare functions. So secant of 42 degrees is going to equal the cosecant of 48 degrees. And we can do one more with pi. Cosine of pi over 8 equals. We know the cofunction is sine. Now we need to do what we did before, where we have pi over 2 is 90 minus pi over 8. In this case, we're going to multiply this side by 4 over 4 to get like terms. 4 pi over 8 minus pi over 8. And that's going to equal 3 pi over 8. So that's our final answer.